Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly spirit reading from February 22nd to the 1st of March. So I, again, am going to give you the spirit message as I'm setting up this time because it's a lot. Um, what we were getting last week was deeply processing kaleidoscope and that we're emerging a stronger empress at the end of it, you know, more creative, but you're not going to be feeling that now. <laughs> Um, it's still deeply processing. Okay, we're going to start with Archangel messages. What well, with the energy, what they were showing me, and why I'm going to set this up, is that right now, it could feel like what you're looking at is just piles of stuff. Oh my gosh, you know, it just feels like we have so much that it almost feels absolutely insurmountable. And we're looking at these piles of everything that is going on and everything. And we're looking at this like, what are we supposed to be doing? Um, we're also really low energy. We're tired. We're exhausted by what's been happening. And our perspective is we see all these things in front of us. And it is like, what am I supposed to be doing? What even makes sense to be doing? If you try something, it doesn't even really feel like it's working. So what to do? Okay, so this is how they, they give me messages like this. I often, like as a kid, I also always felt like I was raised by spirit. Like they gave me a lesson. I felt like I was schooled. So a lot of this, we feel like there's so much going on in our world today. It just feels insurmountable. So what are we supposed to do in our day to day? Like what can we tackle? This seems so much and what makes sense to do? So what they were saying was stop like I was looking at this, you could feel exasperated, you could feel exhausted, you could feel like what even makes sense to do at this moment. And they were saying, just write out the feelings. This this is, you, first of all, you're not alone in this, we're all feeling this. And if you do say one thing to keep your mind occupied, um, believe me, you're not alone in this. While you're occupied with something, um, you, the next time you look at this pile, something else could be, we're not working alone. So whether this is divinely taken care of or someone else steps in and, and takes care of it, sometimes it's just timing, right? So timing could just suddenly work out and this gets removed. Or somebody steps in and fixes this. Um, a lot of it is just bad timing. Or we tried this, it didn't work, but let's, we'll try it maybe again or a later date and then this will get figured out. And then we're down to here and this is workable. There could be times when it's like things and the energy and what we're looking at is just so much that the best thing is just to write out the feeling and to know you're not alone when looking at it, that divine things will be fixed. Another person will step in and take care of that. You could take care of this, but not to look at that huge pile and just let it further drain your energy. It's like write out the energy, write out the feelings. It's also not a, a great time to make exasperating choices. Like, like I'll never, like it, not the time to be like, I'm never doing that again. I'm not doing that. It, just like, it, it's just a crazy, it feels like going back to that pile. It just seems insurmountable at times. And to not let that get to you, realize a lot of it is just timing, just to ride the moment, the day. Um, it's not as instrument, it will be moved. And this could just be a time where it's not just because this isn't working, it's because this isn't working, this isn't working, this isn't working, this hasn't been made better. It's like a pile on of all the things that time is taking a long time with to make better. And so we're getting exasperated, like what am I supposed to do? A lot of it, we, we, we are not in our power to do. And so it could be like, okay, this huge pile, I can do this. Well, what difference did that make? So that causes more ex um, exasperation. Or in this amount of time, I imagine the pile would be down here and we're still here. It's, the, it's all of that. So this could be a real compounding of those feelings or a real feeling, yeah. And they're saying just, no, this pile is going to go down. Some we're doing, some others are doing, some time is doing, some divine is doing. <laughs> um, 
And in the meantime, in the process of time, working all of this out or making things better, you're not looking at this alone. It is not all on you to make better, which we all know. We're just very frustrated. It's been a very long journey. We're tired, exhausted. And just remember, it's a shift in perspective of, of the pile of not feeling so insurmountable. It will be worked down. It is gonna just take some time. Um, so if you can spend your day, if you can do one thing that occupies you in a positive way without focusing on the, the perspective of this insurmountable huge pile all the time, you will have an easier time. And to the comfort of knowing you're not in it alone, it's not gonna be, you don't have to clear it all on your own. It's timing, divine timing, other people doing stuff, you're doing some stuff, but it's it's like an hourglass of time and we just gotta get through it better. So in the moments, to remind yourself when things do look like this pile, right? That stop looking at the pile, maybe take one thing and work on it to distract you from the pile because this is stuff you can't fix right now anyway. So they're trying to unburden us or look at things in a different perspective. It goes back with the deeply processing kaleidoscope. We have tremendous support from divine and those in your life to get through this time right now that could just feel very exasperating. Um, I know this is a long spirit message, but I just wanted to share it, you know, it's, um, you know, I don't give spirit messages just to be light and fluffy all the time, but only if it's helpful. And it is difficult energy, it just is. And so they were saying to be careful how you're looking at that piled on pile. Just don't burden yourself on top of, you know, looking at it. And just try to make the best of every day. We've gotten a lot of cards about surrender to joy, be on your own side, take real divine self-care of yourself. Things are gonna be getting better and um, to ride it through the best way you can on your own side. And that includes your perspective. And so, and looking at that, that pile, and that just adds to what we're feeling in the first place. Um, yeah, so they were saying, you know, it's funny because you know that saying when they say you just put one foot in front of the other, but we might not even have the energy or understanding of put one foot in the in front of the other in what direction, like with what? Everything seems so instrumental. So they were like, even if you can't put one foot in front of the other, if you could just sit and not be overwhelmed by a pile in front of you, you're already doing better. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just writing out this period the best way you can. So I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was really helpful and it helps me also keep the perspective and, and as difficult or as trying as these times are, we're not putting more on ourselves. We're actually making it easier. It's been a recurring message. To make it easier on yourself, be easy on yourself. Um, yeah, so let's get the last week of February, what the messages are from the Archangel. Um, yeah, and it just seems like everything is kind of out of order because already I didn't even tell you. We're going to get the Archangel messages. We're going to get the energy. We're going to get... Uh, goddess guidance, what to surrender that will make it easier, which I feel like just elaborated on. Um, messages from heaven, loved ones passed on our spirit guides, who, I, and the guardian angel cards. Yeah, it's a very, <laughs> it's a very, again, I always say fly by the seat of your pants, I mean, everybody is, and this energy, um, you feel on yourself is. So the Archangel messages from the 22nd to the 1st. Last week of February, going into March, what are the Archangel messages tapping into our energy for the overall going higher? What are the Archangel messages for the last week of February? Ooh, right away, we're getting Page of Gabriel. There's new things coming in here to light our fire again. Okay, follow your passion. You're ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement, ooh, an adventure. Okay, so this is like a messenger of new things that are coming in the divine. I always think is like bringing you something. There could be news of something for you to do project-wise, reigniting your fire in some way, or a reignition of your fire. Um, so you're ready to take on any challenge here, opportunities. So you could be grabbing some things in the last week of February that's gonna light your, relight your fire again, get you enthused again, maybe take one card off the pile and do it. <laughs> 
maybe we, you know, now that we're on our own side, we can feel like a reigniting of spirit has been a recurring message. We have Queen of Michael. You are so brilliant, by the way. Really uh, self-reliant, really relying on your intuition, your guidance, I always think of this. Um, yeah, so you know exactly what to do. It's the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than your relationships. So Gabriel is usually project-oriented, so something could be coming in for you to do, and you're going to be brilliant. You're there to apply your, um, your, you're really, you're probably getting a lot of insight or divine guidance or trusting yourself on what to move forward on project-wise, work-wise, what would make the most sense right now. You could be even analyzing that. Yeah. For uh, uh, happiness and abundance. For if Gabriel to provide you more security, abundance, and I would say blumation, how I always say. Um, you're going to be letting go of burdensome situations, releasing yourself from burdensome situations. Time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. So we have Page of Gabriel coming in, telling you to get to work on some things, reigniting your fire. You're going to know it from your divine guidance, what to do. Um, and you're going to be trusting that. And it's going to bring more happiness, a sense of happiness in the home and more stability or structure or something like that I'm getting as well but there are abundant rewards for hard work so whatever is coming in that you move forward on is going to create more happiness and abundance in the home so that's good so they're bringing something in here last week of February and we're going to get the star, wow, major arcana, a dream come true, believe in yourself and the end of a difficult situation. So this is beautiful. This, you know what, for some reason, I'm getting like putting out fires, which I've never gotten from this card. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that right now, but there's a lot of healing going on. A lot of us rising up in the fullness of all we are. Um, believing in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So it could be a page of Gabriel, could be Archangel Gabriel is bringing in some new things for you to work on in the physical that will help you further heal, will help you further um, get past difficult situations and, and create more happiness and abundancy and structure and stability in the home. So there's something coming in there. You're brilliantly going within to find the answers or knowing the way to go that will create better healing, more abundance, more happiness in the home. This major arcana is the moon. That's what I was getting with the Queen of Michael more so than any other time. I kept on saying intuitively, you're listening to your intuition. That's all I was getting. It's like that's what you're guided by to get you past difficult positions. I'm getting like totally different, you know, I read these in intuitively um but i was getting so much intuition your inner guidance that you know when it said you know exactly what to do that's what you're diving in deep like what should i work on what makes a difference what's going to create more structure stability more blumation like more abundance more rewards for hard work you're going within with that they want you to go forward believing in yourself like a star you're going to get past difficult situations create healing where you need it that kind of thing and you're going really deep you can also see what what the sun is not illuminated, you can go within for, and you'll know. And this also, sometimes with the moon, it's like sometimes you don't know. And that, um, but you're going within trying to know. And that reminded me of the pile of cards. It's like sometimes it's like there are things coming in. We don't know what to work on. We don't know what's going to give us the payoffs. What's really legitimately going to give us the four of Gabriel. They're saying move forward, believe in yourself. You go within, here's the moon, Major Arcana, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. That's the second time they keep saying we're emerging from this time stronger, even though it doesn't feel like it. It could feel very exasperating. It could feel like you don't know what to do, but you are going within for that guidance. There are opportunities to improve your plans. They want you to continue to believe in yourself. You, By the moves that you're making, what you're working on, you are creating more happiness, more stability, more abundance in the home but we're really going within for that that was like the whole the piles you know it's a lot of going within for this for the divine guidance for the ideas for understanding what are the moves to make what what are we supposed to do how are we supposed to go that's what I'm getting from this reading and another major arcana yeah decision this is what I'm getting I mean 
I would read these cards normally a much different way. Look at the three major arcanas, the star, the moon, the decision. Um, this is death of the devil. This is the devil releasing yourself, um, being illuminated and releasing yourself and making those decisions to create more happiness, more uh, structure, more success in the home. New things could be coming in here, but they're asking us to really go deep within, believe in yourself, go within with the moon and queen of michael it's like tapping into what you what you know or tapping in deeper it's that deeply processing kaleidoscope again and again but the decision is release yourself from that which holds you back i need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence we have two about self-confidence you know believe in yourself during these times no matter what it looks like in the physical this part too about it says release yourself from burdensome situations sometimes our hard work is creating this and sometimes it's releasing yourself from burdensome situations that creates a cocoon of this. Do you know what I mean? It's a double. And I've never really gotten that from this card. But when you have this, release yourself from burdensome situations and you have release yourself again, it could be not even the point of you doing actual action to create further blue but re the release that of, of thoughts, what's in your heart, projects, things that are not giving you the structure, support, or payoffs that is actually creating this cocoon of more happiness and payoffs. Do you know what I mean? It goes both ways. It's like you could actively do it or just release and let go. Because here, release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. That reminds me of the stack of cards, that unnecessary worry, the need to detox, what it feels like when we look at a stack of things that are blocking us, like a cage. <laughs> um, I know I'm going back and forth, but there was a reason why they showed it to me in that way. You know, our cage is like our thoughts, our feelings, um, things that are legitimately in our lives too, that are not giving us these more happiness, as much happiness as we want, or much abundance. So they're saying new things will be coming in, right? New projects, new things that will create hard work will pay off. We could really be going within, I would say, really checking in with our divine guidance to know what is right for us. Um, the stars continue to believe yourself, believe in yourself. This is, we're, we're healing. We're still in healing. It's part of that message. We've been through so much. You have to understand we're still pouring out so much just to like put out the fires, to retain some balance, some healing, um, believe in ourselves, to go within, to get the guidance, to make the decision of what we need to release and detox from so that we can almost infuse new life and energy into things. We have, it's, it's a lot, big still de detox, letting go, um, freeing ourselves to literally, and sometimes just by releasing those burdensome situations, what's in our minds, our hearts, or what we're doing that's not, not helping, uh, it actually creates more happiness and stability in the home just by doing that. That's the double meaning they wanted me to bring forth in this meaning, in this reading. But absolutely release, follow your passion. You're ready for any challenge. It's still, it's like, you're fired up to face things, to make things better. You're going within, you're very brilliant, very insightful. And these are three major arcana. So it's all about standing in your power to, to heal and make things better. You're really going within, especially with things that we can't all see or know the answers with. And you're making decisions that even as you go to try to make things better, you're releasing and detoxing everything else because you know it's not making it better. I know this is such a weird, this is what they want to say because it's not, none of this is proof overnight. So they're reminding us to be the star. And, and with the moon, we can go within for the clarity. And then we make the decision to release what's not needed for being a star in a sense, right? And so, okay, oh gosh. And then we have the six of Ariel, which is going to give us balance and even give and take. Um, here it says material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. There's acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. And that's where they want us to come from. And that is the, gonna be the equalizer and to stay in the moment and to give and receive in a balanced way, to know things are gonna be balancing out, kind of like that stack of cards, you know, it's gonna be balancing out. Remain the star, we're healing, you know, believe in yourself as you go, tap into your intuition and guidance, make decisions to detail Talks and release all the time. Keep freeing yourself of situations, circumstances, what you're saying in your mind and heart, because the action or in or, or the action of even just releasing creates 
better structure and happiness in the home. That's what's coming through in this reading. And there are going to be new things coming in to light your fire. And you're going to know intuitively what to what to work on, what's going to bring more happiness and abundance. So when it's not clear, go within, you'll get the answers to come out with a balanced heart, more giving and receiving, um, and, and going through this time more balanced. Um, yeah, because this is healing and releasing at the same time and going forward on things to create better structure, stability, abundance in a balanced way through a time that is not balanced. And the middle here to keep it balanced is you're the queen of Michael, very tapped in even to the elements unseen for intuitive guidance on how to balance this out, right? You're the star moving on. Um, it's almost like scales. You're the star, believe in yourself, working on new things, but you make the decision to release all that's not providing happiness or structure, you know, stability or happiness in the home. You're weighing it like this, and this is what is holding it. If you want to stay balanced, you have, you're intuitive. You go within for the guidance on how to balance this out. That's the energies of what I'm getting. Let's tap into the energy, because that's what they're saying to go through. Very balanced. You release when you need to. You move forward when you need to. You stay intuitive. Keep believing in yourself all the way around. Yeah, because there's a lot we're walking away from. The decision to walk away out of the cage, out what, out. Yeah, there's a lot that we're walking away from here. Oh gosh, this almost wanted to come over to victory. We're walking away to victory. Okay, we're releasing a lot. We're releasing a lot and making our way to victory. Let's get started with our messages. We have to know that no matter what's going on in this balancing act that we're doing, um, whatever we're walking away from, it, it, the moves that we're making inside and out are leading to more victory. To kind of just rest your faith in that, especially as a star. To believe in yourself, you're heading to victory. It could be very creative time, the arts to express yourself through creative activities. They want us to express ourselves, express your unique self. It could be through word, music, the joy in your heart. Bring more upliftment to yourself. It's through the expression to let go of some of this. When they say release, um, and also to dive into your intuition, guidance, just to free yourself in expression. There's a lot of endings and beginnings here. We had release and we had walking away, and we have endings and beginnings. This is third eye like i said this is so intuitive with the queen of michael and the moon that's like your divine compass right now the old must be released so the new can enter so we're definitely walking away there's from things that are definitely ending i want to say decisions to release ourselves from just because it will give us greater balance to give us more of a balance give and take so we can create more abundance in our home. Yeah, past life. The situation involves your past life memories. We've been getting that a lot. I don't know what's going on with the planets, but a lot of this is about past life stuff, past life experience stuff that we're bringing, that from the past we're putting an end in the leasing to at this time. So when they said it was a deep, yeah, because it's expect a miracle. How beautiful is that? Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered, yeah. So, first of all, this situation involves your past life memories. I feel like there's a lot of new endings and beginnings with the past here. We're putting an end to the to things of the past or bringing new light or expression to things of the past. And we have have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. And look, victory. So make no mistake, we're make, definitely making decisions and releasing things for new victories, for new beginnings here. We're kind of in that transition. Let's see what we can surrender. Expect a miracle. Expect a miracle as you go through. Sirens. Expect a miracle. Keep expressing yourself through the arts if you're creative and any, oh, got two right away. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. It reminds me of that surrender to the moment, to the timing of everything. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So they're asking us to do that and surrender to rest and sleep. 
yeah, to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, spirit. This is a lot of, a lot of us to be on our own side during this time that to understand deep in your soul that everything is divine timing for your soul's growth everything no matter how insurmountable some things or how things are going there's faith and trust in that and just think in that and surrender to more rest and sleep because that lends to that exhaustive energy that we're really tired out but to know you're a shining star right where you are shine bright we're healing actually like putting out fires i was getting for the first time um and trying to create more balance abundance and structure there are a lot of things we're releasing this could feel like a real deep detox of emotions that we've had for a very long time with everything we've had this whole time we're walking away from, we're making decisions to release ourselves they're asking us to keep expressing yourself expect miracles we're doing a balancing act and also given give and receive with a loving heart a kindness a balance and to keep it level um keep even your own energy level too because there was a something about the stacking of the cards you know everything is not going to be poof overnight and for you to go through here balanced you know where you're illuminated you're coming and greeting the world in a balanced way you know behind you things are growing you know that we live in an abundant you know it, it, there's a lot of that coming through too because they're saying trust material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways it reminds me of that stacking of the cards you're not doing it all alone it's going to get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways and here expect a miracle you know um acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart it reminds me of like we're all in this together we're all doing all of that i don't know there's a lot of multi-level love uh, messages popping in here in my head i just kind of ramble them off of i do but you got uh, you also have to stay really balanced too surrender to rest and sleep it's almost like just if you can hold on to this stance this is the picture to be illuminated standing there um confident look oh wow see that's balanced here no wonder she has scales yeah, you want to be balanced, you know. When you're looking out at the pile of stuff or out at the world or whatever it is, you want to stay illuminated. You want to stay um, balanced. Um, so whatever that takes, you know, whether it's a little bit of star power of believing in yourself, um, you trust things are going to be working out, you know that things are going to be growing, um, you go within for the answers to stay illuminated, you're releasing what keeps you unbalanced, whether it's inside your heart, your mind, or situations or people, you go forward still illuminated, expecting miracles. You surrender to your soul's path. You know everything is causing more growth. Look at the tree behind her, that everything is working and you just can rest in that. You can sleep and relax in that more. Um, yeah, and underneath here, basically they're saying new things are coming in to create more security, abundance, hard work paying off. We're going inside to realize what that is or to stay firm in that. That reminds me of being like rooted in this and we grow as a tree. I know that sounds really weird. The energy is walking away from a lot and we even have the devil releasing. So there's a lot we're releasing in our hearts and minds and um, to have more balance coming. Definite endings and beginnings. You could feel like a whole new start of a whole new cycle. Maybe we're prepping for a whole new cycle to begin in a way, a new beginnings to begin. Um, let's get messages from heaven to bring some clarity of what they want us to do the last week of February going into March. Messages from heaven to end this reading to stay balanced. Find a way, yeah, find a way to bring harmony back into your life. Take the first step. What did they say? Even if it's not even taking one step in front of the other, if you can't, if you can just stand there and more balanced, you're doing yourself a favor. You're doing your energy a favor. You're doing what you want to grow a favor. Um, that was why. Find a way to bring harmony back into your life. Take the steps needed if you need to walk away from things, release things, just to stand. This is the image to rem just remember for the week week between what's going on in our lives and the energy it's just to hold that stance so do things that bring more harmony back into your life more balance into your life and then we're getting 
listen, yeah, listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you, use your intuition. Remember I said that's coming through really strongly with the Queen of Michael and the Moon. Um, it's showing you how you can be more balanced. You could feel more like this no matter what's going on in your life and in the world around. Uh, listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you, use your intuition. So they're definitely guiding us on ways to find more ha harmony and balance through this time. That's why I even started with that spirit message. Um, with the, with, I mean, that, that was a bizarre thing to start with, with the piles, you know, to have harmony even looking at the piles. Yeah, trust, love, and appreciate yourself. Show respect for you. They said a star, believe in yourself. Trust, love, and appreciate yourself. Show respect for yourself. Um, wow. They want us to do that. That's part of bringing harmony back into your life. Trust, love, and appreciate yourself and, un and know that we are easing the blockages which is holding you back. Go for it. So they want us to continue. Of course, we had the walking away energy. Um, we had walking away and what we're releasing also to victory. The decision to walk away, to release ourselves from things that are not bringing balance and harmony in our life, whether inside or out, in our minds and hearts. We could just be making it worse with what we're saying to ourselves in our minds and hearts. And legitimately, they're real blocks, you know. Um, but to stand balanced, we are easing the blockages, which is holding you back. This reminds me of when they were like, okay, you're taking one uh, one card off the pile, but then the divine is, and then others are. So the blockages are getting eased to just trust and stand there and balance the whole time. Oh gosh, and right away. Yeah, what I was saying, don't rush into making big decisions right now. Take your time. Yeah, it's the energy. It could feel like you just want to throw your hands up and be like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing But that's not a balanced state. That's just being reactive in the moment. It's being it's being re reactive to the pile that you're seeing. It's being reactive by, you know, other things. So they're saying definitely, you know, stay balanced. It's not a time to make big decisions right now. You take your time. You take your time. There's a lot of moon energy here going within. You just want to stay balanced. It's nothing radical. They're slowly easing blockages. Just stay balanced and in harmony. It's like we've got two more. Yeah, put on your dancing shoes or walk along the beach. We encourage you to move. They want us to definitely, well, they say go for it and move, but move on and release yourself from things that are creating imbalance within you on top of everything else that's legitimately causing imbalance. Problems that have held you back are being cleared. We're monitoring it. It's that trust, you know, expect a miracle and also Remember the pile of cards, some of the things the divine and others are clearing. It's not for you to clear. So as you're looking at the pile, you remain balanced, you remain illuminated, you remain at peace, you remain at one with the with the earth and knowing it's growing. What you want will be flourishing. There's something coming through a lot about that because again, going back to that thing about the, a lot of stuff is clearing, but a lot, like picture these here, the pile of things that are in our life when we're looking at it it keeps us not balanced but the divine is clearing this someone else is clearing this time is just clearing this you know and the whole time through that time through that journey of all of that happening we'll have an easier time if we just remain trusting material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart, to just hold this, hold your ground, hold your light, <laughs> come from the space, no matter what you're looking and no matter what's coming at you, um, you know everything is growing, things are blooming, there will be happiness in the home, um, this is what you want you to bring in, there are new things coming in for this, and you are the queen of Michael, very intuitive. And so you know what to do to stay in the stance that's gonna bring in more happiness in the home, more of what you want, stability, security, happiness. And there's a lot we're walking away from, a lot we're releasing, and but the whole time to be in the stance, which is easier said than done, I can't tell you, because that is what we're feeling is everything but that in the world. So to hold your ground, hold your light, hold your balance, um, through this time so you can create more security and abundance in the home. And so it's some of it is with action and some of it's with inaction. Some of it is with trying to retain something and some of it is through releasing.
<laughs> I mean, that's true, and that takes true knowing of what that is. Do you see what I mean? And, and you're up for any challenge. You, you can do this. Like, they're giving you the power and the fire to understand that that's still in your power, no matter what. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I mean, I know this was like, but I tap them with spirit with the cards. So that's what I'm getting for this message for the week. So keep, um, stay balanced in harmony. Stay balanced in harmony no matter what. Um, no matter what. Take care. Bye-bye.